and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. As you can see the thumbnail, this is a class a general awareness session for CMAT and this is the part 3. We have already discussed part 1 and part 2. So go and watch the playlist where we have already discussed it. And if I am audible, just write in the comments, yes sir, you are audible. Uh, guys, uh, we are running every Sunday at 9 p.m. a session for general awareness CMAT. Now we have added once more actually since you all were demanding so on Tuesday at 9 p.m. also we will be having a session this time. Okay. So Tuesday is 14th I think 14th March. So we will be having a session there also so do join that as well. Okay. Yes. So let's start uh, with the first question I will be giving you questions you are supposed to answer it in the live chat. Okay. So the first question is who among the following has been selected in lifetime achievement category for 2021 Tenzing Norgay National Adventure Awards. Your options are Naina Dhakan, Shubham Dhananjay Vanmali, Varun Avasthi, Kumar Bhavani Singh Samyal. What is the right answer to this question? Kya si jwaabe batane hai aapko? Okay, so the right answer to this question, I am waiting for the right answer. Jalli jalli answer ki ji, so that we can move forward uh, very fast. Uh, the right answer is actually D. Kumar Bhavani Singh Samyal is the right answer to this question. Okay, so the Ministry of Youth and Sport Affairs has announced Tenzing Norgay National Adventure Awards. And uh, this time actually the main winner is Kumar Bhavani Singh Samyal. Okay, I have told you in the last class also that we were at that time discussing November part 1. This class would be covering mostly November second half current affairs. Okay, so in that way I will be covering December also in the next class. December part 1, then December part 2, then January, February etc. everyone. So please keep watching each and every session, okay? So that that will be only beneficial. If you skip the sessions, then uh, your uh, I can say that will be less beneficial. Okay? So please ensure Anna, that. So Nana Dhakar, Shubham Dharanjay Vamali and Captain Kumar Bhavari Singh, uh, Singh Samyal in Lifetime Achievement Category. Okay? So yes, and please subscribe to our channel also. Niche subscribe button aega, so that whenever we will be putting a video, you will get the notification. So niche bell icon hoga, usko press kar dena. Okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, you can see it here. Uh, this was announced in November. Uh, the next is in November last year. India has successfully launched Agni 3 missile from APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. It is what? ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, Supersonic Missile, Indo Atmospheric Anti Ballistic Missile, Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile. What's that? What's yes, Mayur, we are conducting two sessions. One will be on Tuesday also, 9 pm. Okay. And ek Sunday ko dono session hoga. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is the right answer to this question, guys? Uh, the right answer to this question is the intermediate range ballistic missiles. Okay. So D is the right answer to this question. India has successfully launched intermediate range ballistic missile Agni 3 from APJ Abdul Kalam Island, Odisha. Uh, this island was earlier called as what? Wheeler Island Palace. Ko de. Earlier it was called as Wheeler Island. Just have an idea about it. So D is the right answer. Okay, yes, D is the right answer. Jem, you are right. Uh, India successfully test fires intermediate range ballistic missile Agni 3. Anna. You can see it here. This is from November last year. Okay, uh, the next one is name the special fund which will cover the damages suffered by vulnerable nations uh, approved by United Nations COP27 climate summit held in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. Your options are loss and damage fund, loss and recover fund, loss and, loss and damage fund, loss and reshape fund. So there's small, small uh, actually difference. So we have a last here, have a loss here. Okay. So these A and C is not same. And then loss and recovery or loss and reshape fund. What is the right answer? Uh, I hope you are aware. Uh, last year in November, last year in November, 2022, uh, in Sharm el Sheikh, COP27 happened. COP27 stands for Conference of Parties 27 under UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Every year COP happens, conference of parties happens for environment related matters. So COP27 happened last year in November in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt and they decided to come up with loss and damage fund. So C is the right answer to this question. Nishi Sinha Path, uh, Shivam Kumar Jha, yes, Jem, you are right. C is the right answer to this question. Okay. To recover the damage suffered by malleable nations by, battered by the impact of global warming. Okay. So this is Shamar Sheikh agreement which actually happened, uh, a conference happened from 6th to 20th November last year. So it is very, 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 very important. So star market and where exactly it is, let me show you in the map. So where is India? Uh, this is Egypt and a country, country in Africa and uh, there is a port city called as, let me zoom it, yes. 
this is Sharmal Sheikh. Okay. And the capital of Egypt is, I hope you all are aware, Cairo. Uh, it's uh, actually a, a very famous place. Anna, I hope you all are aware of that. Okay. Uh, the next one is question number four, which says, who among the following has been honored with the prestigious international prize Gandhi Mandela Award 2022? Your options are Tasme Taslima Nasreen, Ravindra Kumar, 14th Dalai Lama, Narendra Modi. What is the right answer to this question? Kya sahi jawab hai? Sabko like button press karte jao. Everyone, please press the like button, share this video. Subscribe to the channel also. Niche subscribe ka button, usko bhi dabate jana. Thik hai? Gandhi Mandela Award has been given recently to whom? Yes, Amit Yadav, very good. So, C is the right answer to this question. 14th Dalai Lama. So, the current Dalai Lama has got this award. Uh, the award was been presented by Himachal Pradesh Governor Mr. Rajendra Vishwanath Arlekar. Okay. And this is also, uh, yes, C is the right answer. Yes. So, Manani, Anshul, Siddharth, Anukriti, Nishi, you all right. C is the right answer. Right? Dalai Lama receives. So, he is Mr. Dalai Lama. Right? Gandhi Mandela Award. What is its honor and all? So, this is also a November current affairs news. Right? Okay. Uh, the next one is, uh, yes. Uh, this was instituted on, on the 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. So, the award has been instituted on this day. Uh, the next one is question number 5. JCB Prize for Literature 2022 has been awarded to which of the following books which was authored by Khalid Javed and translated by Baran Farooqi in Urdu. Your options are Tomb of Sand, Song of the Soil, The Paradise of Food, The Odd Book of Baby Names. What is the right answer to this question? Kya se jawab hai, batayye? JCB Prize for Literature 2022. Kisko diya gaya? I'm waiting for the answers. Fata fata answer karo. Uh, so the right answer actually is C, the paradise of food. So C is the right answer to this question. Hai? So just have an idea about it. So it was translated into English from Urdu by Baran Farooqi and published by Jagarnath. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, you can see. An Urdu novel in English wins this award. Hai na? Urdu writer Khalid Javed's book Nemat Khana has been translated into English by Baran Farooqi as the paradise of food. So, Urdu means Nemat Khana kehte Nemat Khana and in Hindi it is actually called as the paradise of food. Hai na? Hai. So, C is the right answer. Yes. Nishi Sena, you are right. Uh, the next is, who among the following has been appointed as the chairman of ICC uh, for the second two-year term uh, in November last year? I mean, uh, your options are Greg Barclay, Saurav Ganguly, Tavenge, Mukulowani, Jay Shah. Mukolani uh, is there, Hana, sorry. So these are your options. What is the right answer in last year, November? Chairman of ICC. Kisko banaya gaya? Again, yes. Uh, the right answer is A, Greg Barclay. Yes, Amit Yadav, you are right. A is the right answer to this. Rasta Yadav, you are right. A is the right answer to this question, Hana, for two year term, Hana. Hana. Mr. Greg Barclay re-elected as ICC chairman. Last year, November news. Let's move on further to the next one. The first, third the third ministerial conference on no money for terror was organized where? Geneva, Rome, France, India. What is the right answer to this question? Yes, A was the right answer. Isse pehle ka Siddharth, Vishal, Anshul, you all were right. No money for terror conference recently happened. I mean, recently means uh, last year, November, hardly four months back. Actually, it happened in Delhi, in Pragati Maidan. Okay. So, D is the right answer to this question. Yes, D is the right answer. Okay. And yes, Interpol, annual general assembly of Interpol also happened and all. Hana. So just have an idea about it. I think Pragati Medan, I'm not sure, but please check it. I think it is Pragati Medan. Hana. So D is the right answer to this question. Haan, new Delhi, I'm not sure. Hai. Hai. Check the exact location, but I think it is uh, Pragati Medan. So the next is question number eight, which says, after uh, Pakistan cricket player Mohammad Rizwan, who among the following has become the second player to score 1000 T20 international runs in 2022? Your options are Bhubnesh Kumar, Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul, Surya Kumar Yadav. Muhammad Rizwan ke baad second player jinho ne 2022 mein 1000 T20 international runs mara. So those who are cricket lover are aware of these questions and all. So the right answer actually to this question is D. Surya Kumar Yadav is the right answer to this question. Yes, Amit Yadav, Bevda, Somanani Gautam, Basit Mushtaq, you all are right. D is the right answer to this question. Ah, Astha Yadav, you all are right. Uh, the next, yes, you can see it here. In a calendar year, in a year, mein, first Indian bane because of course you must be knowing this also. Okay. So the right answer is D. Uh, the next one is question number 9. As of November 2022, India has become the world's dash largest producer of steel. 7th, 3rd, 2nd, 10th. 
India has become the world's dash largest, seventh largest, third largest, second largest, tenth largest. And uh, which is the first one? That also you are supposed to tell. So India actually became the second largest uh, producer of steel after China. So the first one is China. Okay, steel production. So C is the right answer to this question. Okay, yes. Producer of steel and global steel. Uh, India to become world's uh, number one producer of steel. And that is what Jyoti Rajendra Sindhya had said. But right now it is actually the second largest after China. Okay, current position is that. Yes. Bishal, uh, Anshul, Kush, you all are right. Huh? The next is question number 10. Sumit Anand, who is the president of FICI, was honored with Legion the Honor. So this is a very famous award given from France. Right? In November, it is the highest decoration of what country? Sweden, Germany, Switzerland, France. So now I have already answered it. So you must be knowing it even uh, with the help of some logic. If you have heard it, these are actually the languages. And a day language hota hai. So generally France use the use The right answer is D is the right answer to this question. Anna? So you must be aware of it. Legion of Honor. Anna? Legion of Honor. Kehte. It is like means highest civilian award. Like very similar to India's Bharat Ratan. Take a similar to that. Yes. Amit Yadav, Shubha, Manukriti, John, Nisha. You all are right. Anna? Legion of Honor. Padh it was started during the time of Napoleon Bonaparte. I mean, he was a very famous, actually, ruler in the history of uh, France. Okay, uh, the next one is in partnership with Animal Husbandry and Department and EY, Ernest and Young, Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, which of the following drone delivery startup has carried out the world's first vaccine delivery for animal husbandry from rowing to Pakalam? Your options are Take Eagle, Garuda Aerospace, Skylark, Drones, Garuda UAV. Drone delivery startup is okay. World's first vaccine delivery with the help of drones. Now, why especially actually these are helpful in rough terrain areas. Eh, rough terrain areas means actually the areas where you will find the mountains and all. Eh, because in that case, of course, providing I mean, moving through roads are actually very tough and all. Eh, it takes a lot of time. Yes, the right answer is Tech Eagle. Very good. Amit Yadav is the right answer to this question. Eh, and it has been done in Arunachal Pradesh. So, rowing to Pagalam actually is a place in Arunachal Pradesh. And so this is actually, I hope you are aware of the drone. This is just a representational image which can carry, you can say medicine uh, or a vaccine and all. Uh, you can see, let me show you in the map. So this is on the northeast. This is Arunachal Pradesh. And uh, these are actually to be connected. Hana. So if you see it, rowing is here and, and Paglam is here. So by road, it is actually very complicated, very long distance. But if you send actually by, uh, let's say drone, it becomes at a, I mean, it's having a very short distance. And uh, there's a river also which can a drone can easily cross. So that is the idea of this. Uh, yes, Noida startup uh, becomes world's first to deliver vaccine for animal via drone uh, in Arunachal Pradesh. So this was actually the news. In, uh, yes. The next is what is the rank of India in 2023 climate change performance index released by German Notch, New Climate Institute and Climate Action Network. 10th, 1st, 4th, 8th. What is the right answer to this question? Sab ko like button press karte jo. We are having 18 likes, 40 is watching. So, sabko like button press ka do. At least 40 plus likes should be there. Okay, sabko. Yes, Siddharth Batra, when the uh, announcement, when the, uh, actually the dates will be announced, we will be having uh, static GK as well. Okay. So, just subscribe to our channel. Just subscribe to the channel. Ko. And one more thing on Tuesday also, that is 14th March on Tuesday also, we will be having session. Okay. So, do join that as well. Huh? Okay, what is the right answer to this question? The right answer is actually D. Eighth is the right answer to this question. Yes, Basit, Mushtaya, Kush, Shobham, Somanani, you all are right. Huh? Yes, Vishal. Huh? So, in Climate Change Performance Index, India has got eighth rank out of 63 countries. They might be asking the parameters. So, these are the para parameters. Climate policy, GHG emissions, renewable energy, energy use. Okay, so, these are the uh, parameters on which actually they decide the Climate Change Performance Index. Okay. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Huh? Eighth rank. Uh, the next one is yes. So the, this is the surprising thing. There was no one actually in the top one, two, three rank. And the fourth rank was actually Denmark. So this is quite unique thing. So just have an idea about it. That means no one is actually performing uh, up to the mark. And uh, that is why one, two, three is actually vacant. Uh, the next one is question number 13, which says, what is the name of a toy that was carried by Artemis 1 mission of NASA? which is successfully launched at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, US on 15th November. Your options are Pingu, Peppa, Rex the Runt, Sean the Sheep. What is the right answer? So, like button, press everyone. Please press the like button, guys. 
Yes, the right answer to this question actually is D. Sean the sheep. Look, Artemis mission is very, very, very important. Launched uh, by NASA recently. So it carried a satellite called as Sean the sheep as well. ठीक है. Kennedy Space Center, Florida से launch किया गया था ना. And two dummies, Helga and Zohar. ठीक है. है ना? Yeah, this is the photo of NASA. है ना? ठीक है. So just have an idea about that. तो यहाँ पर है Kennedy Space Center. Let me show you. Here is India. This one is uh, this one is USA. So here you will find this Florida, and here you will find Kennedy Space Center. Actually, okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, the next one is uh, go and read about it. This is the homework. Isko ab padhiye ke jaake read about actually Artemis One mission because this is actually very very important. Okay. Uh, the next one is since we are talking about Artemis One mission, uh, which is successfully launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. It is an uncrewed mission. The first one is an uncrewed. Uncrewed means there will be no man, no humans going inside it. And later on, they have planned to send crewed mission also. Means they have planned to send crew mission also. Means people, uh, humans will be sitting inside it also. But this one, Artemis one mission, which was launched last year in uh, around October November, is uh, which mission of Venus Moon Solar Martian. Yes, Amit Yadav, very good. Ha, Basit Mushtaq, you all are right. Moon mission or what we sometimes uh, call it as lunar mission because maybe in the exam instead of moon mission they would be writing lunar mission. So B is the right answer. Basit, John, Shubham, Rakshit, you all are right. B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the next one is question number 15 which says ASEAN Association of Southeast Asian Nation has given its in principle approval to which of the following countries to become the 11th member of ASEAN group. Brunei. Tajikistan, Laos, East Timor. What is the right answer to this question? Kya sahi jawab hai? Sab ko like button press karte jau. This is very, 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 very important actually from international relation point of view. Theek hai? This is very, very important. So ASEAN had 10 members. Now there, uh, there is a proposal to add another one and that is East Timor. So D is the right answer. Yes, Amit Yadav, Shubham Gupta, you all are right. D is the right answer to this question. ASEAN agrees in principle to admit East Timor as 11th member. So I hope you are aware. I mean, this is India. These are mostly the ASEAN nations. ASEAN nations is there. And somewhere here, I think you will find uh, East Timor. East Timor. Okay. Huh. Just have an idea. Yes. There is a path. You all were right. Genuinely, the answer You all were right. You all were right. Okay, uh, the next one is question number 16, which says, name the mascot for the Paris 2024 Olympics and Paralympic Games that was unveiled by the Organizing Committee of Olympics and Paralympic Games. Your options are Kobe and Petra, Roni, Izzy, Ferigus. Mascot, what is Any animated animation or any cartoon which represents any program, function, event, scheme, etc. So, you have to tell what is that? I mean, uh, what is the mascot? So, we'll be having Paris Olympics, which will be happening in 2024, and so most likely next year. So, that is why you should be knowing it. The right answer is D. The Firgis, Firgis is the right answer to this question. Yes, Amit Yadav, Shubar, Shivam Kumar Jha, you all are right. D is the right answer. Anna. This is the motto, alone we go faster, but together we go further. Okay? Yes. Yes, Shivam, Bishal, you all are right. Yeah, hai. Aap dekh sakto hai, the Firgis, uh, I don't know the pronunciation, perhaps it is Firgis. Anna. The Paris 2024 mascots. Anna. So, aap dekh sakto hai. And this is the uh, flag of France. I hope you all are aware of that. Okay, the next is by March 2024, Singapore's airline, Vistara Airline, will merge with Tata owned Air India. After this merger, how much amount will be invested by Singapore Airlines in, into Air India? Your options are $200 million, $250, $300, $350 million. Actually, Vistara is a very famous airline in India. And Air India was earlier with the government of India, but bought by Tata. And now both has actually been uh, merged. Anna. So now how much amount uh, and Vistara is actually owned by uh, Singapore Airlines? They have some share. Okay. Yes, the right answer is B, $250 million. Right. So B is the right answer to this question. Yes, Anshul, Kush, you all are right. Huh? It's after by 2024. So by 2024, it will be acquiring it. Huh? It will invest $250 billion, almost around 2000 crore. Okay. Uh, yes, so this is a Star Airlines uh, and... Uh, actually and this is air india i hope you must have seen these two aeroplanes uh, yes okay uh, Hana. so uh, singapore airlines to get 25 percent share in air india as part of a star merger deal with tata okay uh, the next is mr vikram kirloskar 
who passed away was a vice chairman of which of the following automobile company? Toyota, Maruti Suzuki, Tata Motors, Hyundai. What is the right answer to this question? Kya si jawab hai? Bataiye. Sab koi like button press karte jao, share this video, subscribe to our channel also. We'll be meeting you on 14th March as well. That is Tuesday. Okay. What is the right answer? Okay, the right answer is A. Toyota is the right answer. Yes, Shivam Kumar Jha, Basit Amit, Shivam Kumar, yes. Uh, Shivam, yes. So he was actually the former vice chair, I mean, uh, the vice chairman of, uh, of Toyota, Mr. Uh, okay, so Vikram Kir lost car and he died. So just have an idea about it due to heart attack. Uh, the next is due to the significant impact of climate change on Great Barrier Reef. The UN has recommended that this should be, this World Heritage Site is in danger list. This is the UNESCO World Heritage Site of which country? Indonesia, Panama, Australia, France. Where do you find Great Barrier Reef? Very famous. The largest coral reef of the world. Largest coral reef of the world. You will find it on the northeastern portion of Australia near the Queensland. So C is the right answer. Yes, Amit Yadav, you all are right. C is the right answer. UN panel recommends Great Barrier Reef be put on endangered list. Anna. So, where exactly it is? Let me show you. Here is India. This is Australia. So, let me zoom it. This is Australia. Are you seeing coral sea return to Yipe hai? Great Barrier Reef. Okay. So, Great Barrier Reef, you will find it here. Okay. And here is actually the Queensland, the largest font, one of the large, uh, uh, a huge, uh, you can say, state or province in Australia, you can say. Uh, not the largest one because I think largest is Western Australia. Okay. So, just have an idea about it. Uh, so these are actually called as corals. You must have seen these are very beautiful actually pictures, which uh, is actually the uh, representation of corals. Okay. Uh, and these are the photos and all. Uh, uh, the next is which of the following states has become the first northeastern state to pass first ever mental health and social care policy? Your options are Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya. What is the right answer to this question? First Northeastern state to pass first ever mental health and social care policy. Kya si jawab hai? Uh, the right answer actually is D. Meghalaya is the right answer to this question. Yes, very good. Amit Yadav is right. Huh. First state, the Northeast state. So just have an idea. So before that, we have in Kerala and Karnataka, but since we are asking about Northeastern states, so the answer is Meghalaya. So D is the right answer. Yes. Vishal, you all are right. Which of the following spacecraft has set a new space flight record of for spacecraft designed to carry humans? By traveling for lakh uh, one thousand seven hundred ninety-eight kilometer from Earth, your options are Europa Clipper, Axiom Mission One, Spaceship One, Artemis One, Orion Capsule. What is the right answer? Batao. Okay, so the right answer is again Artemis One, Orion Capsule. Isko padhiyega jaake. I have told you Artemis One mission is very very important. So go and read it. The previous record was of Apollo 13. Anna. So this one was the record. So D is the right answer. Anna. Yes, Amit Yadav, Mohan, Shubham, you all are right. D is the right answer. The next is which of the following space tech startup has set up India's first private launch pad and mission control at Satish Dhawan Space Center. Very, very, very important. So star market. First private launch pad set up by whom? Symbosium Simulation, Vasundra Geotech, Zovian Aerospace, Agnikul Cosmos. What is the right answer? Very, very important question. Both important hai. So please press the like button guys, Sabko like button press karte jao, share this video, subscribe to our channel. So the right answer actually is D, Agni Kul Cosmos is the right answer. Yes, Amit Yadav Astha, Amit Shilpa, you are right. Huh? So Agni Kul set up India's first private space vehicle launch pad at Sri Hari Kota, which is of course Sat uh, Vabe Satish Dhabara Space Center, you will find it there in Andhra Pradesh it is. Okay. So this is Andhra Pradesh and this is the border and here you will find uh, Sri Hari Kota. It's an island belonging to Andhra Pradesh. Anna. So it's a, a actually a company which is inside IIT Madras. Anna. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, before moving on guys, there's a small announcement. We are running a CAT 2023 comprehensive program, 300 plus engaging videos, 135 plus live session, 75 plus mark test, 10,000 plus practice question, 300 plus engaging videos will be there. And we are providing up to 90% of a scholarship on our paid courses. So on 18th March at 7 p.m. we'll be having a scholarship test. Register it. The link is given in the description from where you can register it. If you qualify, you will get up to 90% scholarship. Okay. Uh, 
the next is uh, on 14th march at 7 pm we'll be having a session how to prepare for varc work for cat 2023 with vikram sir so the link is given in the description and 100 most expected mhct questions from 6 march onwards we are running on our youtube so please subscribe to our channel niche subscribe ka button diya hua hai and bell icon sab dabao hua do hai na so that whenever we'll be putting a video you will get the notification theek hai subscribe kar do sabko fat fat okay uh, yes uh, on our app so download the byju's exam prep app go to cat section you will get this brush your basic quizzes so uh, daily there is a quiz that is being provided attempt those quiz that would be very beneficial for you theek hai yes Okay, the next is an Iranian film, film Nargesi has been conferred with ICFT UNESCO Gandhi Medal at 53rd edition of IFFAFI held in Goa from 20 to 28th November. It is directed by whom? Payam Iskandari, Jafar Panahi, Asghar Farhadi, Daniel Marin Navarro. What is the right answer to this question? Okay, the right answer is A. Payam Iskandari is the right answer to this question. Think A is the right answer. Anna. Directed by Payam Iskandari. Anna. So, Indian film personality of the year, Charan Jeevi, Komela, best film, gold, uh, Golden Peacock, I Have Electric Dreams, best actor, female. Read these one. The right answer here is A is the right answer. Take so, this is IFFI, uh, uh, International Film Festival of India, Goa, 53rd, uh, uh, 53rd version. Tha. Take so, just have an idea about it. Uh, the next one is Harimau Shakti 2022. A joint military exercise between India and Malaysia was held where? Pune, Georgetown, Malaysia, Coaching, Malaysia, Pulai, Klang, Malaysia. What is the right answer? Harimau Shakti Joy India or Malaysia ka joint exercise. Hai. So, how to remember ki kiske beach kaya? Dekho, beach mein do uh, word nikalo. I am. So, I say India, M say Malaysia. Sometimes they can ask. Ki Harimau Shakti is a joint military exercise between which two nations? So it is between India and Malaysia. And it actually recently happened in Pulai Klang in Malaysia. So D is the right answer to this question. Theke? So here Malaysia ka ek, ana, pe Pulai Klang. Ana. Here is India. Yes, Amit Yadav, Shubham, Mohan, you are right. D is the right answer. Uh, the next one is question number 25, which says, Who among the following has received an approval from CB, Securities and Exchange Board of India, to become the MD and CEO of BSE? BSE means Bombay Stock Exchange. Okay, can anyone tell me who is the chairperson of SEBI? Because she is the first woman chairperson of SEBI. Can anyone tell me also this question? Sab koi like button press karte jau. So SEBI MD and CEO is Mr. Uh, Sundara, Sundara Raman uh, Rama Murthy. So, take as a seven idea. And the chairman is SS Mundra and the MD and CEO is Sundara Raman Rama Murthy. So, D is the right answer uh, to this question. And the CB chairman is Madhabi Puri Bhuj. CB's chairman is chairperson is Madhabi Puri Bhuj. The first female chairperson. So, just have an idea about that as well. So, is this the answer D. Okay. Uh, the next is question number 26. नहीं अरुंधति बट्टेचारी नहीं है वो एक्स एसबीआई चेयरमैन चेयरपर्सन थी ठीक है अ वर्ल्ड्स लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रेन हैज बीन ऑपरेटेड इन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री एक्चुअली दिस इज वर्ल्ड्स लॉन्गेस्ट पैसेंजर ट्रेन मोर करेक्ट टू से ठीक है कंटेनिंग 100 कोचेस मेजरिंग 1910 मीटर्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ 4550 सीट्स रशिया चाइना ऑस्ट्रेलिया स्विट्जरलैंड व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है बताइए फटाफट Okay, uh, the right answer to this question is D. Switzerland is the right answer to this question. So Switzerland tour. Yes, Vishal, Chinmay, Shivam, you are right. All about world's longest passenger train. Ye dekho, ye hai photos ki. Theek hai? Ab dekh rho, kitna lambi hai, pata nahi, yaan se shuru, yaan pe bhi dekh rhi hai, yaan se chal ki, yaan pata nahi, aur kitna aage. Hai na? Theek hai? So, just have an idea about that. D is the right answer. Yes. Uh, Nancy, Masi, Basit, Mushtaq, Vishal, you all were right. Which organization has released the adaptation gap report 2022? Too little, too slow. Climate adaptation, adaptation failure puts the world at risk. That discusses irreversible nature of global climate risk. Your options are IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, UNFCCC, UNEP, UNDP. What is the right answer to this question? Kya sahi jawab hai? Bataiye. Kisne ye report nikali hai? So the right answer is actually, yes, uh, C is the right answer. Very good. Uh, can anyone tell me where is the headquarter of UNEP, United Nations Environment Program? Yes, Amit Yadav, Mohan, Basit, Shubham, Shivam, Kumar Jha, you are right. UNEP is the right answer to this question. Okay. 
So C is the right answer. The next question number 28, the former banker, Mr. K.V. Kamath has been appointed as the independent director of which company for five years? Your options are Reliance Industry, TCS, Infosys, Wipro Limited. What is the right answer to this question? Kya sahi jawab hai? Sabko like button press karte jau. Yes, UNEP ke headquarter Kenya Nairobi mein. Yes, Amit Yadav, you were right. Huh? K.V. Kamath has been appointed as the independent director of A, Reliance Industry. So A is the right answer to this question. Thik hai? Okay, so just have an idea about it. He's a very, very famous person. Go and find out he was earlier appointed as a director of a very famous international level bank. International level bank. So go and find out it's a homework. He, he was earlier the director of a, or a head of a very famous international level bank. What is the name of it? If you know it after the class is over, write it in the comment. It's a homework. Okay, yes. Haan, uh, headquarter in Nairobi, Kenya. Mein. Yes, you all were right. Haan. Uh, okay, so KV Kamath, actually he was uh, the uh, director of New Development Bank. Hai na? KV Kamath was appointed as the president of bank in 2015. So there is something called as New Development Bank NDB or something called as BRICS Bank. Hai? BRICS Bank. Hai? Yes, Amit Yadav was right. Huh? NDB, New Development Bank or BRICS Bank. Okay, uh, the next one is who has been elected as the Prime Minister of Israel in November? 2022. Ehud Almod, Benjamin Netanyahu, Naftali Bennett, Ariel Sharon. What is the right answer to this question? So in November, he got elected and in December, last week of December, he took the charge of the Prime Minister. So what is the right answer? Uh, the right answer actually is very famous. Uh, the right answer is Benjamin Netanyahu. So B is the right answer to this question. So we'll just have an idea about it. So earlier, the Yar Lapid was the Prime Minister. Uh, from Yes Atid party, now uh, Benjamin Netanyahu from Likud party has become the Prime Minister again. So, B is the right answer. Yes, Shubham, Shivam, Mohan, Shilpa, you are right. The next is according to Forbes, world's best employer ranking in 2022, Reliance Industries has been ranked at which position as the world's best firm to work with? 10th, 13th, 20th, 24th. What is the right answer? Kya sahi jawab hai? Kitna bar rank hai Reliance ko? Okay, the right answer is C. 20th rank is the right answer to this question. Thik hai? 20th best form. Thik hai? Yes, Amit Yadav, you are right. Huh? Ab dekh sakte ho, rank 1 is Samsung Electronics. You will be surprised to see. Samsung, very famous South Korean company, is on rank 1, then Microsoft, then IBM. And the 10th rank, uh, 20th rank is with the Reliance Industry, which is from India. Thik hai? Yes, the right answer is C is the right answer. Yes, An Anukriti Parth, you are right. Name the Indian Grandmaster who won Asian Continental Chess Championship 2022. Your options are R. Pragnanda, Rithvik, Raja, Sankalp, Gupta, Saptrishi, Roy. What is the right answer? Kya sahi jawab hai? Bataiye. Asian Continental Chess Championship. I mean, this guy is very famous nowadays. R. Pragnanda. I mean, you must have heard about his name. So, even if you go for the uh, guess, it might be right. So, A is the right answer, hai na? So he is very famous nowadays. So just have an idea about it. Yes, he is right answer. Shubham, Astha, Shivam, you all were right. Uh, the next is the first edition of trilateral exercise IMT Trilat. A joint maritime exercise was conducted between which three nations? So of course one of them was India because India is coming in all the four options. Then what is the right answer? India, Mozambique, Tanzania. IMT ka full form kya hai? Thik hai? This is also IMT, this is also IMT, this is also IMT. So you cannot eliminate with that logic. So which one is the right answer? So the right answer is uh, A. India, Mozambique, Tanzania is the right answer to this question. So A is the right answer to this question. So just have an idea. Uh, here it is. This is India, this is Tanzania, this is Mozambique. So IMT. Okay. 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 Yes, the right answer is A. Very good. Parth, Anmol, Shubham, Anukriti, you all were right. And you can see these are the photos. Uh, the next is question number 33. Who among the following has been sworn in as the 10th Prime Minister of Malaysia? Abdul Rahim Bakari, Yong Chek Singh, Adeline Leong, Anwar Ibrahim. What is the right answer to this question? Kya sahi jawab hai? Sabko like button press karte jau. Everyone, please press the like button. Share this video and subscribe to our channel. Ten Prime Minister of Malaysia is... Anwar Ibrahim, D is the right answer to this question. Yes, Amit Yadav, you all are right. Or D is the right answer. Yes, Shubham Gupta, Parth, you all are right. Huh? 
yes, Shobham Basati, all right. The next is the 13th edition of bilateral exercise between India and Oman, ha Oman happened in November last year. What is the name of that exercise? Lamitya Nasimal Bar Khanjar Prabal Dostik. So, the joint naval exercise, navy exercise between India and Oman is called as what? So, if you know that Lamitya, I hope you are aware we do it with sexualists, right? Okay. Khanjar, I think we do with uh, some uh, Kyrgyzstan or Kazakhstan, please check it. Na? So, the right answer is Nasim al Bahar. Okay. So, B is the right answer to this question. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, Nasim al Bahar. These are some of the photos. Yes, Amit Yadav, right? B is the right answer to this question. Na? Nasim al Bahar from India's uh, Indian Navy's official website. And so, actually, here is India. This one you will find is Oman. Uh, the next one is, okay, can anyone tell me what is the capital of Oman? If you know it, please write it in the live chat. Uh, the next one is, what is the theme of International Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women? Observed on 25th November. And these are your options. On 25th November, International Day for Elimination of Violence is observed. So you have to tell me what was the theme last year. Kya thi theme? Yes, Oman a capital mascot hai, Amit Yadav, right, very good. Huh? So this year actually the theme was, uh, jo capital se hoga, yaad rakh lena, unite, exclamation mark, activism to end violence against women and girls. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay, yes. So that was the theme this year. Okay, uh, one more thing on uh, Tuesday, this time also at 9 p.m. we'll be having a session. Okay, the same CMAT session, so do join that also. Okay, that would be very beneficial. Which of the following animal has received food animal tag by FSSAI, Food Safety and Standard Authority of India with an aim to improve population? Ilvira rat, Himalayan yak, Andaman shrew, Jenkins shrew. Food animal tag to improve the population. So, food animal tag has been given to Himalayan yak. So, B is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea about it. Yes, Amit Yadav, Shubham, Basit, you are right. Accept it as food animal by FSA. Go, go and find out what is the meaning of food animal. Iska kya hai? Find out. Karo. Okay. Hana. FSSAI, Food Safety Standard Authority of India. Hana. Uh, it's under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The next is which of the following legendary player is set to become the first woman president of Inter Indian Olympic Association? This is also very, very, very important. Mary Com, Sanya Mirza, Smriti Mandana, PT Usha. Bahut zyada important hai. What is the right answer? So, first woman president of Indian Olympic Association is actually uh, P.T. Usha. So, D is the right answer to this question. Very, very, very important. Anna, so, D is the right answer. Okay. Yaad rakhiye, important. Yes. Amit Yadav, Kush Godani. Yes. Ah. Yes. Basir Shubham, you are right. Yuang Wang 6. It was in the news last year. It is a ship of which country that was uh, as recently entered? Recently, in November. Mein. In November last year, I mean, it was... Uh, since August till November, these, uh, this ship was very much in the news. One was Yuang Wang 5 and another was Yuang Wang 6. Both are from the same country. And because of some controversy, it was in the news. These two ships were in the news. And it is from which country? So, it is actually from China. So, A is the right answer. Yes, Shubham Gupta. Very good. Huh? Yuang Wang 6 entered ocean via Sunda Strait and all. India tracking China spy ship. There was allegation that Yuang Wang 5 and Yuang Wang 6 was actually a spy ship. Although the China said, you know, it is for uh, not not for uh, uh, spying purpose. But yes, uh, we, uh, there were some apprehensions regarding that. Okay. So, A is the right answer? Yes. Shivam. Yes, very good. Huh? Parth, Ariba Khan, you all were right. And uh, to Kaja think Sunda State say, so um, perhaps a China uh, ship came from here and it was moving like this. This is Sunda State, very famous. Okay. Yes. Uh, the next one is... Safar ka naam suna hai. I hope you must have heard about system of air quality and weather forecasting and research. Safar we call it as. Comes under which ministry? So this is actually helps in finding out the quality of air pollution. Air quality. Air quality index and all. Na? Ki how is especially when the pollution was they were there in Delhi and all. A lot of pollution. This was very much in the news. Ha, yes, weather purpose data. Yes, Shubham, can you plan me? Of course, uh, this is related with what? So, Ministry of Earth and Sciences. So, A is the right answer to this question. Na? Safar, System of Air Quality, Weather Forecasting and Research, Ministry of um, Earth and uh, Sciences. A is the right answer. 
ऐसे इस तरह का लोग एयर क्वालिटी निकालते जैसे दिल्ली का वेरी पुअर पुणे कैसा है सो दीज आर दीज आर समली एग्जाम्पल्स है ना सो देट एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स इज actually categorized like this 0 se 50 good then satisfactory 51 se 100 so like this hai na severe hai 41 se 500 so severe hai so sometimes uh, i mean in this region i mean the delhi and some cities goes in this region so which is considered as severe and which is not very good i mean very severe bahut kharab cheez hoti hai hai na so which are the following cons constitutional amendment is related with enjac that was struck down by supreme court dekho actually kya hua so in collegium the judges are appointed through the recommendation of collegium so collegium recommends the name to president and this is how the supreme court judge is appointed but uh, in jack was established in the year 2014 national judicial appointment commission which was supposed to actually advise the president for appointment of a judge of a high court or a supreme court and this was struck down by supreme court now uh, why it was in the news because vice president and law minister at that time were commenting on these issues i mean national judicial appointment commission collegium and all that is why we are discussing it yes shivam kumar jha very good vishal yes yes mukul jorel we will be coming up with more sessions so please go to the playlist and watch all my previous videos jisme testnet par mein bhi banaya tha session theek is that or ift ka bhi i have made the session so you can watch that as well and i will be coming up with more sessions so tuesday ko bhi ek session hoga 9 pm pe go and watch it and once the exam is announced i mean exam date is announced we'll be having some more uh, static gk session as well theek hai yes theek hai so yahi news mein tha supreme court bench strike down and jack and all so this is all about today's class theek hai so please subscribe to our channel subscribe ka button niche daba do follow us on instagram facebook telegram and download the byju's exam prep app now i'll be meeting you on tuesday at 9 pm so thank you everyone thanks for watching have a nice day